would walk you through the clinical anatomy of breast cancer. On the left is your nipple, and as you move from the nipple all the way down to the stroma, we'll take a look at various pathologies underneath. With a nipple, two major issues that could occur. You could have Paget's disease, or you could have acute mastitis. Acute mastitis, you might have abscess formation. If it's an abscess formation, close your eyes. What does the breast look like in a female there? The central area might be a little bit yellowish and purulent, and the surrounding tissue inflammatory will be erythematous. From your nipple, you'll then move into lactiferous sinus. The major pathology that we discussed in lactiferous sinus thus far is interductal papilloma. Would you please take a look at how close the lactiferous sinus is to the nipple? So therefore, any lesion or pathology to the sinus is then going to result in 80% of your patient walking to discharge, bloody or serious. You could also have the mastitis that may affect this area as well, but superficially. So after this, we'll get into our ducts. We we'll begin with malignancy we looked at ductal carcinoma in situ. That means that the ducts here, if they undergo cancerous change with the maybe ductal hyperplasia and specific comatal carcinoma, that the base membrane is going to be intact. But that's where you find your ductal carcinoma in situ. And then if you finally go distally, you see these lobules? They're down distal, down by the stroma, or back deep by the stroma. And then we'll talk about lobular carcinoma in situ and invasive lobular cancer.